Hi there, everyone. Thanks for joining us for our quick tour of Advanced Pro version 11. Today, uh, we're going to get right into things. We're going to talk about Advanced Pro. Now, this is your main panel. This is where you can access any area of Advanced Pro, depending on your user permissions. Now, Advanced Pro is built to work with QuickBooks, so we can bring your data directly in for, from QuickBooks. And then at the end of the transactions that you produce in Advanced Pro, it's going to sync right back out to QuickBooks. So you can deal with payment and get your financial reporting. Now, Advanced Pro is an inventory management system. We can also bring in information from Excel and from many other platforms. Today, we're going to be mostly focused here on the customer order. So we're going to do a customer order, and we're going to work through just the basics of, of running a customer order through Advanced Pro. So here I'm going to choose a customer. We happen to already have some products in stock. We've already got some vendors set up to buy from. So here I'm going to go ahead and put in a product that we're going to go ahead and buy. Now we can automatically see our stock level. We can see if it's coming in from a vendor anywhere. And uh, we can go ahead and adjust our pricing if we need to. You'll see that we have our original retail price and a customer specific price that's been assigned. So we've got this order. We can also set up things like our expected date and our shipping date. We can set our carrier at this point and we can go ahead and print this off. We can send this out to the customer. We can export it as a quotation, as an Excel file or as a PDF. And at this point we can go ahead and place the order. So now we've got a few items on order. Uh, and it's going to recommend that we pull it out of our warehouse if we have stock. If we have multiple warehouses, we can take a look at our other stock levels in our other warehouses. Alternatively, we can go ahead and create a vendor order to bring this product in, or we can do a drop shipment. And Advanced Pro also handles manufacturing. Now I'm going to go ahead and process the order and make a pick ticket. So here we're able to pick the, the product out of our warehouse. So we're going to go to our warehouse panel now. So now we're no longer the purchaser. We're someone who's coming in to pick an order. We're someone who runs the warehouse or works in the warehouse. We're going to go to orders to pick. You can see we can manage this in stages if we like. So we can pick, then pack, then ship. Or we can do it all at once. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this to ship now. We also do offer serial number and lot number tracking. So if we like, we can click in here and go ahead and access a specific serial number. I'm going to go ahead and grab the first 10. We can also see when product is set to expire. Now at this point, we've got our product set up. If I like, I can go ahead and print off a picking slip or a packing slip or a shipping slip. And we can go ahead and ship this off. We can also integrate directly with UPS or FedEx to get this information over to WorldShip or FedEx Manager and get your shipping tag with your tracking number. We'll go ahead and submit this shipment. So this is where our product actually leaves the warehouse. Up until now, it was reserved for this customer. And now we can go to our customer panel. We can go to View All Invoices and Credit Memos. We can open up that particular customer invoice. And here is our invoice, which we can send off to our customer. We can take a payment at this point. And uh, from this point forward, we can go ahead and sync this out to QuickBooks. So it's a very streamlined system. It doesn't kick anyone out of QuickBooks or Advanced Pro when you sync. You'll just be working away. And in QuickBooks, suddenly you'll see a few new transactions pop up. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.